Hello, everybody. I'm not sure who's been watching and who's not been watching. Uh, for those who are new, I am Richard Gregory. I am a member of the DDP Yoga Community, or DDPY, as it's been rebranded. Uh, you can usually catch me over at teamddpyoga.com. Uh, it has been several months since I have done a video. Uh, I do not have a name for this video yet, so if there's any suggestions out there, feel free to uh, comment or message me somewhere and uh, let me know your thoughts. So, um, when I had initially started doing this, I reached out in the Team DV ddpyoga.com community and asked about some topics that can be talked about and uh, I've got several good ones that was suggested to me uh, one of them will be which this one is about is about being stubborn before we get into that I'd like to uh, mention that if you have not gotten it yet reach out and grab the Positively Unstoppable, The Art of Owning It, the brand new book by DEP. It is really amazing. Uh, do be prepared to be slapped with some truths, whether you want it or not. It is a really awesome book. So on to the topic for this video. And that is being stubborn. The actual definition for being stubborn is having or showing dodge determination not to change one's attitude or position on something, especially in spite of good arguments or reasons to do so. The so that last part is really interesting because it that's where a lot of us are at in our lives because we hold fast to the way we've always done things we were stubborn and not wanting to change thinking hey we can do it this way we can do it that way we you know hey I don't need to change there's nothing wrong with well, that's not always true. Um, for instance, I was very stubborn when I came back from Iraq. Um, they initially diagnosed me with PTSD at the VA. And for five years, I shredded it off because as a soldier, that's what we're taught to do. Adapt, overcome. And that is something you don't want to hear and it took uh, just one incident uh, where I finally had to step back and realized hey something is wrong and uh, and I went and got help for it uh, you know PTSD is not something uh, that will ever go away it's always there but you learn to cope with it, you learn to retrain your mind, you learn your triggers, and you move forward. But if I had never had that one incident to wake me up, I would have stayed stubborn about saying, hey, I don't have this. And hard telling where I would be at today if I hadn't got a wake-up call. For it. So, applying that to workouts, whether it's DDPY or uh, working out with weights, whatever, that is something that we all do. We may start off good, we push ourselves sometimes too hard, and next thing we know, we've actually injured ourselves and especially guys we tend to ah, oh, that'll go away we don't you know that's 
uh, that's nothing. Um, and we try to, despite what our bodies may be telling us, or or a family member, a friend, or workout partners, saying, "Hey, you know that's not looking right. You know that ankle is a little too swollen, or uh, you know whatever." We don't want to admit that we've overdone it and, and stuff. So that's the bad part about that definition of being stubborn. We don't want to admit to being wrong or whatever, despite the good reasons to admit that something is wrong. The good aspect of being stubborn is that dog determination. We, you know, if when you finally change that mindset that, you know, I'm going to stop the drinking, I'm going to stop the smoking, I'm going to stop the eating the crap and stuff, and that I'm going to get healthy by working out and eating healthy and stuff. That is the good part. You have to be stubborn in that area. That is equated to that determination, that good work ethic. You have to change that one's attitude and position in order to succeed. That doesn't mean that you're not going to slip up. It doesn't mean that you're not going to fail. Because most likely you're going to. But failure brings learning and learning brings success. So remember, you can be stubborn, but apply it when it needs to be applied. You have to have that mindset. You have to be willing to listen. And you definitely have to listen to your body if you're whatever um, you know if uh, you feel a little twinge whatever don't overdo it stick to doing things but listen so stay stubborn in the good way keep owning your life Make that mindset change and keep pushing forward. See you next time.